do you know that you do not have to be strong all by yourself if you were strong all by yourself then you would not need god a lot of times you are too hard on yourself forgetting the fact that the strength of god is made perfect in your weaknesses so a lot of times you are worried about fulfilling deadlines meeting deadlines fulfilling tax and all of that forgetting the fact that you do not have to do it all by yourself so the reason you end up being tired weary and exhausted is because you try to do it all by your own strength and the bible says that by strength shall no man prevail begin from today start taking your burdens and your concerns to god and you can only do this if you have a relationship with god a lot of times you are so used to always going to the presence of god to demand for things that you do not have that kind of relationship with god it's in the place of prayers in the place of intimacy it's in the place of fellowship that you exchange your weakness for strength and you can't do that if you're always going to just ask for things but when you have a personal relationship with the person of jesus you have that fellowship that communion with god you would understand that it's in that place that your weakness is exchanged for strength. You understand that you do not have to do it all by yourself. So the first thing to do is to build a relationship with Jesus. Build a personal relationship where you can commune with him and talk about things as simple as your day, as minor as who offended you. Having the understanding that God is interested in everything that concerns you. God is interested in your well-being, is interested in your health. The Bible says, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and being held even as I so prosper so it's the will of God that you excel in every area of your life so you don't have to do it all by yourself you don't have to be strong all by yourself the Bible says be anxious for nothing but with prayer with supplication with thanksgiving make your request known to God he's interested in getting to know you better so a lot of times do not just see God as someone that is far-fetched somebody that cannot be reached but the more you communicate and commune and have fellowship with God, you realize that God is closer to you than you think. So begin today. Take practical steps. How do I get closer to God? How do I create that relationship? How do I make sure that I am always communing with divinity? What to do is to separate yourself. Pick a time that is convenient for you and you know you can be consistent with. Begin from there. When you have taken out time, make sure that it is not interrupted by social media or house chores or whatever. Make sure it is just for God. Start there and begin to tell him about your day. Tell him about the minor, the major things. He's truly interested in all of these things. This is how you create that bond with God. This is how you create that relationship. Do this over and over and over again and you will gain mastery before you know it that's how you can live a fulfilling life that's how you can live a life that is effective a life that is joyous a life that is very fulfilling do this and see how your life changes forever please leave a comment if this video has been of any help to you do not forget to like this video don't forget to subscribe to get more videos like this also do not forget to hit the notification bell to be notified every time a new video is posted i'll see you in the next video bye for now